Hello again. Today I wanted to talk to you about a place where I see Fitz Law violated quite a bit. And I'll even share a personal uh, story about why it especially bothers me. For those of you who don't know, uh, Fitz Law was from the result of the research by a man of the same name, where he was able to prove something that, when you say it out loud, it seems to make sense. But it's been proven that uh, smaller objects are harder, take longer to point at. Um, and larger objects will increase accuracy at pointing at them, and also distance matters. So an object that's closer to where you're, you're currently at is easier to move or point to, and objects further away is going to take longer and may suffer from accuracy. So as interface designers, we want to make things large enough and close enough to where people are looking that they're going to be able to react to them. And so small things essentially are bad. <laughs> of course, there's exceptions to every rule, but I'd like to show you a few examples where small things are really getting the better of me. So here we have my Mac computer. And this is, uh, I think, a 27-inch screen. And one thing that I always struggle with on the Mac is minimizing or closing the window and sometimes maximizing as well. It's not because I don't know what the buttons are. It's just so hard to reach the buttons. Now, normally I'm in this white space here that's filled with a web page or whatever app I'm working with. And then when I want to minimize or close, we have to go to the top left. There's three small little circles that I have to click on. So let's see if we can find those. We know where they are. And they're right there. My camera can't even focus on them. They're so small. I have to zoom, pull back a little bit, try and get some focus. And as you can see, the buttons don't even show me what they do. And when I mouse over them, oh, now the little actions will pop up. And you, I don't even know if you can see that on the camera. That, uh, yeah. So basically, this is a problem for me because I something that should take one click in a couple seconds takes me a very long time because I'm struggling to zone in on the exact right button that I want to click. There are a few other places that this rule is violated uh, and I'll show you one right here. This is the button that you have to click to scroll up and down in a window. And again, I'm having trouble getting focus on that, but those two gray splotches that you're seeing there are the clicky buttons for the scroll window. Look how big that, that window is. This is huge on my 27-inch monitor. And if I'm browsing around on that web page, and then I have to go all the way down far away as possible and click on those tiny little buttons. I'm not upset with where they are, but the size just makes them difficult. So as you can see, some of these items can be the proverbial needle in the haystack to your interface. And if a person is unfamiliar with computers, or if a person has carpal tunnel or some other arthritis, maybe uh, an older person, they're going to have even more trouble and their tool for finding items on your interface is going to become more and more like a pitchfork and that needle is just going to get buried deeper in the haystack. So I encourage you to tell me other places maybe where you see this happening on Macintosh devices uh, such as the iPad or iPhone or just anywhere in daily life because it does happen a lot and uh, the personal side of that story that I'm remembering to tell you about is I do have pretty big hands and I really have a hard time clicking on things on the, my iPhone because by the time my thumb gets down to the screen I can't see it anymore because nine times out of ten they're a lot smaller than my thumb. But anyway, thanks again for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a video response. Have a good day.